Gang, 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 gang. What's up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, and Zika Milling in the Villain Villain Trilligan. And we're back on Dog and Rapper 2 to buy despair. It's the same day. Like, my throat, my throat really hurt. I think it's from all this voice acting and stuff. So, oh, but dang, P3's coming out this Friday. And I'm gonna have to get on that. Hey, brother, grind don't wait. So, I'm gonna have to keep, I'm gonna have to get it going, no ways, bro. I'm, I'm gonna have to suck it up. I'm worried about me, Khan, and the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. Last episode, people done got a fever, and now they stuck in a hospital and stuff. And now we got we got to go check up on them. That was the motive, apparently. We still trying to figure out how that's a motive. The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Ooh, it's hurt. How you doing, gang? Yo. Yo, you came early today. You're the one that's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So, what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. Wanna go to Nagido's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry? Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still. I mean, we don't want bro to... We don't want bro to die, do we? Like, he get on my nerves, but we don't want bro dead. Really, let's check up on everybody while we're here. Is Ibuki still being weird? Ibuki chilling? Hello. Good My morning. Name is I am truly Hello. honored by you stopping by and to see how I'm doing today as well. Oh, really? Yes. As a token of my gratitude, I really want to sing you a song. However, this is a hospital, so I must be quiet. Understood. If and when I am discharged, permit me to sing to you as a token of my gratitude. The old Ibuki wouldn't have cared at all and just started singing. I really don't know how to react. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you still crying? <laughs> oh, the hospital's scary. I was so scared I couldn't sleep. How much longer do I have to stay here? Um, well, is there any cure for this? Monokuma is the one who set this up. That's all the reason we need to cure it. Dang, girl. It might be over for you. It might be a con over. A, a can over. A con over. What's her last name? I might have better luck with that. I don't. Let's move on. Let's move on from my horrible jokes. He dead yet? Mikan, how's Nagito doing? Same as usual. No, actually, he might be worse than yesterday. This is bad. Are you freaking serious? His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into critical condition sometime today. Is he that sick? <laughs> but as long as I'm his nurse, I will never let Nagito die. Yes. Ever. I do understand how you feel, but don't over don't overexert yourself, okay? Hey Hajime, it's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, I got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. Don't look at me like that. Gotta hit that connection. The incoming signal light is blinking. Now then. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you right. I pressed the button underneath the blink and light and the monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor had no problem making a connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. What's up? Hello, how is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> We're good on RN too. I can totally see your broke faces. It might be best if I tell the others about Nikito's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope. Nope. We're all here except for Hioka. What happened to Hioka? <laughs> it seems we all look like a barren enemies in the eyes of that coward. Um. She has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side of the door that she won't come out until the despair disease has been cured. She's even being cautious around cautious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagito's actually in serious danger. Ooh. I already know that he's seriously dangerous. Well. No, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. What? What did you say? However... But he's going to be okay, right? Nagito's going to get better? Hey, 
Okay. First Nekomaru, not Nagito. That ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we really can't say. Yes. You really can't say? That's impossible. Monami, why are you on that side? Um. Because it'd be dangerous if I got close to the hospital since I don't even know what's going on there. Now, you really are pissing me off. Like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? You can't. Please don't discriminate. That despair disease is horrible. It's a disease that can even destroy this island. So until we figure out how to deal with it, I'll be on this side. It's just useless. Before I could respond to Monami, Fuyuhiko had cut, cut the connection. Don't fuck with me! That stuffed animal! She seriously pissed me off! Dang it, I'm going outside to cool off. Fuyuhiko practically spat those words before he went outside. Anyway, all we can do now is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves and changes for the better. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in a hospital? I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko entered and left the hospital many times. And times just kept passing by. Academy School Trip Executive, it is please return now, Ben. Damn it! Feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over and now it's nighttime already. It's almost time for the nice transmission. Jeez, you're pathetic. We should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's freaking annoying to keep going back and forth though. But before we go back, can we check our Nagato one more time? Go for it. Leave this transmission thing to me. Jeez. They're not gonna have a clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you, man. Oh my goodness, we're about to see something absolutely horrible. I just know we are. Ibuki, why are you out? Why are you out? Whoa, Ibuki. Well, what are you doing here? You need to be resting. Yes. To tell you the truth, I've been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time, so I was hoping I could help you with anything. But it's better if I'm sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better soon. Understood. Yes, understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better soon. Yeah, I'm not liking this at all. Something horrible is about to happen. Yes. Since you ordered, I'm getting proper rest, so please do not worry. Oh, dear Lord. Let me check on Akane. Please don't let nothing have happened to Akane. Akane, you're safe, right? Akane, please. Please, Akane, please. Time again, it's so dark. I'm so scared. I'm gonna get in my ghost. <laughs> Usually, she'd be more like, I'll beat the crap out of ghosts. Kind of acting like this just isn't a kind of. Mikan's too focused on, t on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan. Hey, Mikan. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned to me as she's focused on caring for Nagito. I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey Mikan, are you okay? Yeah! Looks like you finally noticed. Please don't surprise me, I almost got wet. Huh? Wet? Um... Uh, did you come by to check on Nagito? I just wanted to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um, I hope I'm not mistaken. That'd be pretty embarrassing. Are you, by chance, worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. <laughs> I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to talk, taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I said. But she's working so hard, it'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt, so I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Yo. Yo, how's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she has no time to rest. Damn it. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? You guys done with the transmission? Jeez. As I expected, we wrapped it up quickly, like they had nothing new to report. They're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. Dang, so on both in our ends, it looks like we had no results. Jeez. Oh, well. Let's look forward to tomorrow. 
With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. Ugh. My worries are piled so high that one side just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for the day I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. And not just that, first thing in the morning I need to go to the hospital again. I kept telling myself as that I kept telling myself that as I sighed one last time and slowly closed my eyes. Out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time hazily. Like watercolor paint suspends in water. Slowly, hazily. Is it about to be that same crap from the last game? Oh, no. So, no, no. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before. But I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted in the Host Peak Academy. But was, but was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I'm dully staring out of the window, pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noise is leaping in my ears. Huh, you don't know? Know what? Apparently you don't have to be exceptional to get into Host Peak Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only the exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run to a place I deserve to be, not here. To the place where I could be more confident. Wow, I never knew that one was possible, so he's the same too? Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Holt Speak Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who could be found anywhere. Well, admiring the academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents that have to write that check. Leave me alone. I just... I just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this anyway? Who are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Okay. Hey! Hey! Did you know? Oh, dear lord. Did you know that? Ugh. Did you know that talking about pers personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So I'm gonna tell you my story of personal failure. In the wild world that I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself so I could brag about it to the others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was the envelope. But my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten love letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written in special ink. Only those chosen by God can see it. When I said that, he was like, that love letter is burning with passion. However, things started looking bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he could really, he could read the love letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. And eventually he was worshiped by society. Now we use his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful, what an epic fail. That's my story of personal failure. What did you think of it? Is the ice broken? Since you listen to me, wanna buy this vase? <laughs> it's in pretty high demand, but I'll give you a deal on it because I like you so much. I wanna break the ice with your throat. Keep playing with me. Huh, it's morning, huh? But for some reason, my body's heavy. No, not just heavy, it's somewhat soft and really hot. Wait a minute. Again? How did you manage? How did you manage? What is your issue? Oh, 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 she missed God live. Ah, get a hold of yourself. Uh, he regained consciousness. Oh, I'm so glad I thought you died from suffocation. Mikan, 
Why are you, why are you here? The Monokuma announcement hasn't aired yet. Uh, now that you mention it. Oh, I came here to wake you up, but it seemed like I accidentally fell asleep. What kind of accident is that? What? But good news, you see, Nagito's condition is stabilized. Really? And I rushed over to let you guys know, but Fuyuhiko's room was locked, so... Oh yeah, my lock is still broken. Thanks, Ibuki. Yes. Anyway, please hurry over. Nagito can probably be saved. Yeah, got it. I quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital with Mikan. Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped up over someone like Nagito. Oh well, best not to think about it. Um. Nagito is in his patient room. Please hurry and see how he's doing. Why I gotta hurry? What am I so What are you expecting from me? Best I can do is look at him. Like, just... Man, we woke her up, so please check on Nagito first. There I saw Nagito, who managed to sit up in his bed. Nagito, can you hear me? Hajime came by to see how you were doing. <sighs> the twin Ibukis are, the twin Ibukis are singing. I see. Ibuki must have been a twin duo. <gasps> The Veronica's. Is he supposed to be cured? It's not like he's completely cured. He was just able to recover from his critical condition. They were utilizing their characteristics as twins, and they've been taking turns appearing before me. Which means there are actually 17 people on this island. The Veronica's, that's the answer. After seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet for just a little longer. Yeah, but I'm so glad. I'm so relieved Nagito regained consciousness. I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, I feel dizzy. Somehow everything is spinning around me. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Um, then if you insist, I'll use the on call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, then even though it's in the morning, good night. He kind of wobbled around for a bit and then left the room. She's definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to wake me up. Man. All alone with Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. <gasps> yeah, hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. <laughs> hey. What are you doing? Hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. Disease on turn Nagito into a tsundere. The morning Monokuma announcement should be starting soon. I should wait in the lobby for the transmission. Huh? A surveillance camera's unit light is blinking. But that's weird, it's not transmission time yet. We gotta check it out. Light is blinking, it receives some sort of transmission from the other side, right? That's pretty early. We haven't even received the Monokuma announcement yet. It might be something urgent, though. If so, there's no way I can make it make them wait until Fuyuhiko gets here. All right, even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. I reached my hand and pressed the reception button on the surveillance camera unit. Huh? Upon first glance, I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. A slowly swaying, dim light is shining on the back curtains. It felt like some sort of ritual was about to begin. This is life from the camp. But what was creepiest of all was the rope hanging from the ceiling. The end of the rope was tied in a loop, and beneath it was a stepladder. It was like a gallows. What is this? I didn't understand at all. What's going on at the music venue? And then that's and then that's and that's when it happened. The moment I saw a silhouette slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. What? To raise my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving. 
and began climbing the step ladder. Slowly, slowly, they took their time climbing it. They reached over to the rope hanging from the ceiling. Bro, are you bugging? And at that moment, huh? The screen suddenly went black, probably because of the candle, the only source of light had gone out. No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other end of the monitor. Bro, what the heck? What's going on? What in the world is going on? No, it doesn't matter. I got to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry up to the music venue. I rushed out of the hospital and I ran over to the music venue where the transmission was made. Ahem. Good. Now then. Now's not the time. Just now, that was the morning Monokuma announcement. Fuyuhiko should be arriving here shortly. I don't got time to wait for him. I gotta get to the music venue. It's over here, right? No, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Please, please, let me make it. I rushed into the music venue with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. I was too late. What the hell is this? In the hot air inside the music venue, I couldn't keep myself from shouting. Hot air. Why is it so hot? What is this strange hot air inside the music venue? No, not that time to worry about that. More importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What is everybody doing? Ah, oh, the body discovery announcement. That's right, there hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody's noticed yet. I need to hurry and let the others know. From here, the motel is close by. There should be a lot of able-bonded people who can help me there. I gotta hurry. I ran to the motel as fast as I could, trying desperately not to trip over my own feet. Hey, somebody get out of here! As soon as I arrived at the motel, I started shouting for help as long as I could. I was wondering who was making such infernal racket, so it was you. Gundam, something awful's happened! What? Don't tell me! Do you intend to spread the pathogenic bacteria so you can take us all down with you? I won't let you! If you want to pass, you must defeat me first! Um, what happened? Is there a problem? Fighting is not allowed. It's worse than trouble. There's a body. Huh? Didn't you hear me? A body was found! C could it be? I renounce you! Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like Nagato in order to confuse us all? Hold on. Hajime, is that true? Of course it is! Isn't it obvious? Chiaki, you have seen Nagato's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. That's down. But there's no way we shouldn't check it out. Because if Hajime is telling the truth, that means it happened again, right? What? A killing? If that's true, we need to check it out. If that's the case, I will not stop you. Leave this to me. Leave this place to me and you fiends go on ahead. <laughs> no need to worry. I will catch up with you easily. Um... Chiaki, can you go? Yep. Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? Something tells me the body is going to freaking disappear. Something tells me the body is going to disappear. Ah, uh, Hajime. Mikan, why are you here? Perfect timing. Please help us, Hajime. Help us. Ah, uh, Hajime, someone's coming from over there. Hajime and Chiaki, what are you guys doing here? Fuyuhiko, why are you here too? No shit. Isn't it obvious I'm looking for Ibuki? Looking for Ibuki? Um, I was planning to rest in the car room, but I wanted to check on everyone before I did that. And Ibuki's missing from the hospital all of a sudden. Huh? So what Hajime is saying earlier... Everyone, let's hurry. Huh? Hurry where? To the music venue, don't ask, just follow me. Music venue? <laughs> Is Ibuki gonna be there? Damn it. My wound hasn't completely healed yet, don't make me run too much. Hey. Is Ibuki inside here? The only way to know is to go inside and confirm if that hanged body is really Ibuki. Let's go. I clench my teeth and reach my hand toward the door. Huh? huh? 
What the heck? Why is it locked? Oh, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, I was able to go through here just a minute ago. Then why don't we try from another entrance? Nope. This is the only entrance to the music venue. There isn't even a window we can go through. But why is it locked? <laughs> I don't understand it myself, Let's but... Go. If it won't open, the only thing we could do is force our way through. I wonder if that's going to be possible. Of us. Two of us are girls, you know. It's got nothing to do with it doesn't you. matter if you can do it or not. We have to try. Damn right. Let's go. We'll all charge at the same time. Ready, set, go! At Fuyuhiko's signal, we barged into the door at full force. Oh, the door moved. Maybe it'll open easily after all. Yep. Yeah, even with two girls here. Let's go. All right, one more time. At Fuyuhiko's signal, we charge into the door one more time. It was like the li a live performance that just ended. That moment of silence just before the audience breaks out into thunderous applause. And a few moments, minutes after that silence, a scream surfaced. <laughs> Don't tell me there's two bodies! There wasn't just a hanged body. There was also another body. A body suspended, a suspended body belonging to Hiyoko. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! No. A body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Two body discovery announcements in a row. That means the hanged body with the hemp bag over its head. Hiyoko suspended body. Both of these bodies have been discovered at the same time. What? What is this? What? Hiyoko and who the hell is that other one wearing the head bag? Could it be? Could it be two victims? But when I was here earlier, I didn't see Hiyoko's body. I only saw that hang body over there. Not even 10 minutes passed, but still, why? Impossible, impossible, impossible. Shut the hell up! Shut up, idiot! This is just... For now, we should lower that person wearing the hemp back to the ground. Leaving it like that is just too sad. Yes! Uh, but what about preserving the scene of the crime? Damn it! Who freaking cares about that? Um... There's a control panel for the baton lighting on the wing of the stage. You can lower the body with that. That one! Fuyuhiko ran over to the wing of the stage and pressed a button on the control panel. With a motorized sound like the growl of a starving beast, the baton lighting slowly descended. When it descended enough for us to reach it, we all worked together to lower the body. Now I'm gonna take off the head bag, okay? Even though I expected it, I still didn't want to confront that reality. Under the hemp bag, there was no denying that the face I saw belonged to Ibuki. Damn it. It's all my fault, if only I did a better job watching over Ibuki. <laughs> You're wrong. It's not your fault, Mikan. No matter how we feel, the one at fault is- What's the matter? Jeez, it feels like someone died in here or something. So you finally shown up, the root of all evil. What the heck? How dare you call your big brother the root of all evil? I even went to the trouble of bringing everyone for you. Bringing everyone. Ah! Are you kidding me? 
What the hell is going on here? Ibuki and Hyoko. What? So two people have been killed. What? Well, there, that's not all. I've also summoned the others who were at the hospital. The others? This is trouble. Looks like another serious incident occurred while I was unaware. D damn it! I can't believe it. They did such a horrible thing. Nagito Akane, are you okay? Huh? Huh, of course. <laughs> what do you mean, of course? No way! Are you talking about the despair disease? Jeez, you guys, that stuff is totally over now. Hey. Yeah, because I got bored. Yes. <laughs> and now the killing gets started. There's no need to keep that motive around anymore. Yeah, the despair disease is gone now, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. What'd you say? What the heck? That's impossible. How can you spread a disease and cure it so easily? Phew. Who cares about the itty bitty details? What matters is that it's already been cured. So, let's get back to our main topic and proceed as usual. The Monokuma, Monokuma file. file! See ya later! I'll be waiting at the class trial. Do your best to investigate. This cannot be... Again? We have to do this again? We have no choice. Like last time, if this means one of us, is, one of us killed these two, Let me tell you then we cannot let this be. Why do we have to do this? Damn it. Thinking like that won't do anything. We have to do this. Damn it. If we don't do anything, we'll all be executed. <laughs> what do you yearn? Abandon your overdependence and complaints this instant. Those have no place in this world. But what about Nekomaru? What's gonna happen to him? Is he not gonna participate this time? Is that even allowed? <laughs> Nekomaru! Huh? That's strange. I'm crying? What happened to me? <laughs> Looks like lingering after effects of the despair disease. There's nothing for you to worry about. Hey. Are you okay? Yep. Fortunately, it seems like I have nothing to worry about. This is bad. Since you had the lie disease, your after effects could be lies, maybe? Leave it to me. Please leave Nekomaru to me. Everyone must focus on investigating, so I must do my very best. Alrighty. I'll definitely bring back Nekomaru and win everyone's <laughs> trust. Um... It seems we should leave Nekomaru to Monami. What about guarding this area? Do we still need it? Damn it. I was about to say, leave that to Akane. I'll stay. I still don't feel good yet. Um, um it's better if I stay here too, right? I should perform the autopsy again, right? Damn right. Then I'll leave that to you. Um, then let's get started so we can end this nightmare for good. That's right, we need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. I know there's no way we can believe that one of us did this. But for those two sakes, we need to find the truth. And then we need to end this nightmare once and for all. Huh? Like, I've been putting up with this for a while. Hey! But why is it so hot in here? I hate being hot. Because your clothes are smothering. <laughs> God, I seriously can't stand it. I'll let you guys investigate this place. And so Kazuichi left the music venue under a cloud of grumbling complaints. But it really is hot. In fact, it's sweltering hot. Why is it this hot? No, before that, I need to check the Monokuma file. There are two victims this time, Ibuki Miyoda and Hiyoko Sayanji. Ibuki, Ibuki Miyoda's death was a crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Hiyoko Sayanji's cause of death was blood loss due to her throat being slipped, slit with a sharp-edged tool. It appears her death was instant. What the? Is this it? I already knew the cause of death from the beginning, so this is going to be a real useful clue. Hmm. It's strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Huh? I mean, the more people you kill, the more clues you leave, right? So, so I don't think it's really necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Hmm. Or was there a reason they had to kill two people? A reason for killing two people. Regardless, something like this should not be forgiven, sir. I'll definitely find out. I'll definitely find the truth behind this case. I think. Seriously, I prefer she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. Dear Lord, I might have to kill myself.
Ibuki's body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Huh? What's this on Ibuki's feet? I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? There shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki if that's the case. His blood belongs to someone else. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah, at first I didn't know if it was, I didn't know it was Ibuki because of the hemp bag, though. But I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging from that rope. Like. Which means Ibuki must have died before Hiyoko was tied up. Well. That helps. There's no time of death written on in the Monokuma file this time, so I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true. Their estimated time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file this time. But I should know Ibuki died because I personally saw it. In that video, Ibuki was climbing the stepladder on her own, so right after that... Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed that stepladder and died right after, does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. Because even if Ibuki committed suicide, doesn't explain Hiyoko's death afterward. Two different deaths happen at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. But why does she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait, huh? That hemp bag, upon further inspection, is a Monomi decal on the fabric. Looks like this isn't just a normal bag. It's the rope that was tied to the baton lighting. Or the ceiling. Ibuki hanged herself with this rope and died. From what I can tell, it looks like a regular it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact that the music venue has a shortage room, a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. Which means it was a, was it obtained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it here? That means anybody could have obtained this rope. And it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. Huh? Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey! Excuse me, Mikan, do you have a moment? Um, What's happened? Um, There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see. I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious from the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right. Yep, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. I might as well search another place. Jeez, as usual, I have no idea what he's up to. There's a massive candle position near the front of the stage. The dull light in that video must have been coming from this candle. A candle this huge might be perfect for lighting, but they didn't need to bother using a candle. They could have just used the normal stage lighting. A step ladder is tipped over on the side. This must be the step ladder that Ibuki used in the video I saw. Ah, isn't that a blood stain? Look, there's a blood around the left side of the step ladder. As I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries. If that's the case, then it must be Hiyoko's blood. That's the only thing I can think of. A blood stain that probably belongs to Hiyoko was on the left side of the step ladder. What does it mean? Dang, man! Hiyoko's body is suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against a pillar with duct tape, and she looks like she was forced to stand upright. Dang it, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding, probably because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Hiyoko's kimono like this? Her kimono was all disheveled, and her sash is tied in the front. Did the killer do this too? The killer probably caught her lacking in her room. We're gonna have to investigate the motel. But when did the killer kill Hiyoko? 
When I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hiyoko's body here. If that's the case, Hiyoko was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here. But that was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible that the killer killed Hiyoko and taped her up in such a short amount of time? They probably already had her ready or in transmission. Transition. Even if it is possible, whoever did it would have would have would have, would have had to would have had a, would have had a narrow window to, of time to do so. Because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? Hey! Uh Hajime, do you have a minute? No, you're in the way. Now now. I don't wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Help. Actually. If you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bolting from inside Hiyoko's kimono. So I was thinking she might have been hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you wanted me to search inside Hiyoko's kimono. Huh? Huh? That's exactly it. Why? Well, it would have been a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know? Don't mess with me! Are you saying there's no problem with that now that she's dead? Fine, if you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey! Hey, Akane! Yeah. Yo, what's up? Hey. Well, there's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside of Yoko's kimono, so can you feel around for that? What? Uh, I don't really understand, but I just gotta check her kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is such a wonderful thing. Now then. Uh, let me see. Akane reached through the duct tape binding Hiyoko, and she stuck her hand inside her kimono. That's weird. Uh, she's tied up tight. I can't really reach with my hand. Oh, wait, hold on. Yo. There's something. Is this what you were looking for? Is this a key? Perhaps. It looks different than the keys to the cottage. So this may be the key to her motel room. The key to her motel room, huh? What? If her key was so deep inside the kimono that it'd be hard to remove, then it's very unlikely the killer tampered with this evidence. Isn't that right? Because if this was a trap, they would have put it more toward the front of her kimono so we notice it easier. Which means we can conclude that this is something Hiyoko had with her all along. Hey. Also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything. But you look like you were cautious about the condition of Hiyoko's body, right, Hajime? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. Mm. It's true, there are several mysteries regarding her body. Well. well, just hear me out for a second. Out of all those mysteries, what I think is the strangest is... See? The way they wrapped her body with that duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Hiyoko's neck, don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck. <laughs> I don't really know if that was their true intention, but I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because that duct tip is acting as a compress, right? <laughs> if her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. A sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make anybody faint. With her arms crossed and a thoughtful look on her face, Chiaki was staring, silently staring at the stage floor. Did something drop on the floor there? Mm -hmm. Nothing dropped. It's just dirty. Dirty. Hey, hey. See, take a close look at the floor. Oh, that looks like wipe. That looks like somebody tried to clean up some blood. If you look closely, you're right. There's a smudge as if something was wiped off, but this isn't something. Is this a blood stain? Yep. Well, a blood stain is strange. Isn't strange. Hiyoko's neck was slashed not far from here. But still. Rather, what's strange is why did the killer try to hide it? Hide it. So. If they weren't trying to if they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the blood stain, as long as the buff, as long as the body is nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off a blood stain. So what was the killer trying to hide? Control panel. Users can raise and lower the baton lighting on the ceiling. We use this to lower Ibuki's hanged body. Speaking of the lighting, the video in the music video I saw. It had a dim candlelight ambiance to it. And it didn't look like this lighting was used at all. But why didn't they use this lighting? Was there some reason that would have been that would have inconvenienced them? So 
you have a penis. I see. So you notice two feet. Notice. So you didn't notice, huh? Are those eyes just little glass balls? Take a good look at the baton lighting over your head, above your head. Have you not noticed that aberrant item? Look at the baton lighting. What is that? You mean that? There's something that looks like black paper stuck to the baton lighting. <laughs> so you finally noticed. Can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton lighting one more time. I can see it. There is no need. Go, my four dark devas of destruction. Go, Mirage Golden Hawk, jump P. Now is the time for you to take flight. Fwa! Feast your eyes on the brave souls of my four dark devas of destruction. A hamster launched itself from Gundam's hand and ran up to the baton lighting on the ceiling in a flash. It started running around the stuck slip of paper in rapid circles. And then the paper fluttered downward and was deftly caught by Gundam. <laughs> Did you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder. Wow. wow, that was amazing. I've never seen a ham... Wow, that was amazing. I've never seen a hamster do a trick. How pitiful. They're my four dark devas of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. So what's with that paper? It seems to be a kind of thick paper. Though it does not have any special skills scribed onto it. It was close. It appears it's nothing useful. No, that's not it. There's no doubt this is some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it was stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, is too unnatural. There's a black curtain hanging on the far side of the stage. This curtain is not wide enough. It can't reach from one edge of the stage to the other. Huh? It's not really a full-length curtain. This curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. Mm. It was probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. See, the back of the curtain is taped for temporary use. Just like the curtain at the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring that curtain from the supermarket? If they went that far, this is probably something that the killer really needed for this crime. Why did they need it? Mm. Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easy. It's like the music venue's AC unit. That's right, you might be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue with this. Alright, I should mess around with it a little like so. It's running as it's running as a heater over 86 degrees Fahrenheit? Now I know why it's so dang hot. Better turn off the heater for now. That should cool things off a little. You know what I said? Staff only. It looks like the inside of a storage room. Might as well investigate in here too. Nagito, did you come in to investigate the storage room too? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it is, or he's just trying to stand guard hey. here. So how about it? Did you find any clues? The tipped over step ladder on the stage, the duct tape binding Hyoko. That probably all came from the storage room. There might be other things from the storage room that can be that they use for the crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just gonna be on the killer's side, right? <laughs> uh, I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is to it. But... That's the main reason why. This case is really special. Huh? Man. But I can't say for certain, though. What is he saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. Hajime. By the way, Hajime, I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? Hey, if you can explain it to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you some more useful information. Really? You might just end up confusing us again instead. You don't really- you don't want to find the truth, you just want to make us suffer. Oh, me. That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. Oh well. For the sake of everyone's hope, I gladly become the enemy, and I won't even mind when I die. Damn it. That is the main reason why I can't overlook this case this time. Huh? What does that mean? Regardless, I guess you're not gonna tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll have to just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? Hey. You should come by later, too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? <laughs> well, obviously the movie theater. 
After he said that, Nagito walked out of my sight. Movie theater. Why does sudden interest in the movie theater? Whole body in his mirror, probably for checking costumes. I'm married this bit, it'd be easy to check how you look. A lot of different musical instruments lined up here. No about guitars and drums, there are instruments and machines I've never seen before. They look like they pertain to the case. A lot of stickers with the venue's logo placed on them. It looks like, looks like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. Compared to last time, it feels like there are less stickers than before. Am I overthinking this? There's carpeting, wallpaper, and paint on this shelf. Probably used for stage decorations, huh? This thick black paper that's folded up on the lower shelf, it looks like wallpaper. There's a lot of stickers plastered over the front side of this paper, too. And the edge of this paper looks a little torn, but what does this mean? I guess it's everything important in this storage room. Guess I should head back to the music venue. That was the black paper we found. The shattered remains of a machine are spread all over the floor. This appears... This appears to be the surveillance camera unit. This too must be the will of... Kazuichi put it in the music venue for communication purposes. Why is it destroyed like this? Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here. What do you mean? Well, Even if they know they're not being recorded, there's no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. Fine. So that is why they destroyed the camera. Seems plausible enough. They'd hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera, and that's why the killer destroyed this? Then what was that thing I saw? My, my, this, hold on. What was that thing you saw? Here's my thing though. Why aren't you telling anybody about what you saw? It has happened once again. Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. How cruel. This is the place where Ibuki sang for Fuyuhiko. Hiyoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music. And now those two are no longer here. Such a tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. Two of our friends were killed. That's all the more reason we can't just leave this alone, right? So just as I thought. We must do this thing for the sake of those two who have fallen. If only I'd noticed sooner, Ibuki might have been saved. Hey, when did you realize Ibuki was missing? Um, after leaving Nagito's room, I went to the on-call room. And that's when it came to me. That I should go check on how everyone in the hospital is doing. One more time before I go to sleep. And so I went to the patient's room and noticed that Ibuki was gone. So I quickly ran out of the hospital. And that's when it happened. <laughs> and then I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. <laughs> Oh, uh, that reminds me. Where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That is a long story. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not like I doubt you or anything. There's no way I doubt you because we've been together since this morning. You're right, we were together until you went to the on, on car room. <laughs> That's right, we were together and just until just a little before that morning, Monokuma announced me. So I don't doubt you, I'm telling the truth. Um. Is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I what I I'll tell you what I know. So please spare my life at least. What happened to not doubting me? She just went out of her way to assume I would kill her. That's like, dang man. <laughs> did do you did you direct your gaze to the brave statue of my four dark devils of destruction? I forgot he already helped out. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, take a look at this. A what? Huh? Look what's in front of the door. It's a drumstick, right? And it look like it's broken. What happened to it? Like... It's something like this is in front of the door. <laughs> you think it might have been a really big clue? Why would it be a clue? Hey. Remember when we can't... Yeah, it was probably used to hold the door closed. Remember when we came to the music venue? It won't open. The only thing we could do is force our way through. I wonder if that's gonna... Yeah, 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 yeah. The door was locked when we tried to go inside, and the four of us charged into the door. <laughs> but when I examined it, I found that this door doesn't have a lock at all. Huh? The door's designed to be pushed open. 
and this is the shape of the handle. If a stick was used to bar the door here, huh. why don't you think it would lock the door and keep it from opening? You mean, you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? Huh. The broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. Then how was the killer able to get out? Huh? I mean, the music venue doesn't have any windows. This door is the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't have been able to escape outside. Like... Maybe... The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue. And they waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to join us. I get it. You know, don't they use tricks like that in mystery dramas and stuff? <laughs> if that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. Damn it. Alright, I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let that killer get away with this. This is a cl Oh, bro! It's the same as the closed space. The closed space murder from, um, Trigger Happy Habit. But the thing was, in there, it was a suicide. Sakura had killed herself. So, I'm assuming, because it's the second game, they're going to try something different with it. Which is probably why they have two dead bodies. So... The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue, huh? Like you said, that might be possible, but... I've listened to the whole story. I heard what you two were discussing. Chiaki, that was a kind of cool entrance. Well? Besides the broken drumstick, I've also found something interesting. What is it? See? Look, there's a weird glob where the left and right door touch, see? You're right, what is this? It's too firm to think it's rubber. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but... As she said that Chiaki bent down, scraped off the semi-transparent glob with her finger. Why are you putting it in your mouth? Ah, it smells like workshop chemicals. Workshop. And this chewiness. I see. This thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. For instance, if this was originally a liquid that hardened into this, it might be possible to... Uh, uh, to apply it directly and smoothly on the gaps of the door. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just as I thought, it tastes nasty. Chiaki spat the glob out of her mouth and left the area. Besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider this some kind of clue, right? With this, we should be close to finishing. We need to talk to Mikan. I didn't talk to Akane. Hey, are you okay? Are you still not feeling well? Mm. Yeah, I don't really get it, but when I think about Nekomaru, it's like my knees start shaking. That's weird. That's weird. There's no way I've gotten that kind of weakness. It'd probably go away if I battled a strong dude, but Nekomaru's not here. Nekomaru's coming back. You, you're right. How about him? Kind of, you found anything by now? To tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive. You got it wrong. But it's not my fault. This music venue is just too hot. Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Because of the heat? Is that possible? <laughs> if a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see. That might have been the killer's goal. They covered up their time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the main music venue hot. But that's weird. <laughs> Even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree, as long as I saw it, it should be clear what order the murders occurred. First was Ibuki, then Hiyoko. And as long as it's an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistaking the orders of the murder. Huh, imitation murder? Huh? You don't know, Hajime? I thought everyone already knew. See? It's a murder where a killer uses a creative work like a song or a film as an outline for their killings. It's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? Well, based on the killing order and the way they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. That movie? Good instinct. The assumption is an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. The goal was an imitation murder. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a minute? Excuse me. If this really if this was really an imitation of that movie, 
Then is it possible that one more person might have been killed? This, too, must be the will of causality. It's certainly conceivable. If the killer wishes to complete the imitation... Hold on a sec! What are you all talking about an imitation murder? One more person might have been killed! <laughs> are you guys worried there's gonna be another victim? Then no worries! Things would have got out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once. I'm a real cautious fella, so I prepared a countermeasure. Hmm. On this cooling school trip, the same black can only kill a maximum of two people. Uh -huh. You mean you've already added another rule? Yep. Well, if killing everyone at once is okay, the blacking would be able to secure an easy victory, right? <laughs> this new rule prevents that mission you slam it into your tiny brains. Uh -huh. If it is a maximum of two people, then there will not be any more killings. Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. I see, I see, as expected of you. You're very strict about games. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think someone would do this. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hiyoko were killed by two different people. That would mean that two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? I am concerned. If we can if we can only choose based on a majority vote, the other person would definitely achieve victory. Yep. Yeah, you're right. See? So what happens in that case? What about a case where there are, where there's three incidents instead of two? Or four incidents overlap one another? Silence! Shut up! It's okay, I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. Meaning two killers can't exist at the same time. So it's said to say that applies to this case too, right? Wow. Ah. Uh, I don't like all this. Alright, fine, fine. There's, that's right. There's always one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplice, I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint and she made me say it. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my cave. I see, so there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. With this, I guess that narrows things down a little bit. Yep. Yeah, that makes things a little easier. Fine. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people, face your powerlessness. It means a third victim would be impossible. Imitation. Imitation murder breakthrough. You guys keep saying that, and it sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? Um. Could it be you haven't seen it? Seen it? Seen, seen what? So... Like I said, that movie. Oh my. When we first explored this island, Monokuma was passing on invitation tickets. Then the imitation is... Good instinct. Of course. It is an imitation of that movie. Well? Well, based on the murders this time, it closely resembles that movie as if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie. I see. Nagito mentioned something about that. And it can't be helped, I guess I rely on my gut feelings. Come by later, check out the movie. You... I see, so you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch that movie before the class trial starts. Looks like I need to do that. Then I should get going too. There are other places I want to investigate. Um... Where do you intend to go next, Yaki? Hmm. Probably the hospital for sure. The first victim, Ibuki, was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first place. You are right. Thanks to that despair disease, we cannot go there for some time. She's right. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital too. There might be some clues relating to Ibuki's death. But clues relating to Hiyoko's death and try going over to the motel. There's still a lot of things I can do before the class trial. I'll definitely give it my all. This game really loves to make me depressed, eh? Alright, so hospital and motel, and then a movie theater. Well? I feel like I haven't been here in a while, even though it's only really been a few days. Hey, you prepared the surveillance camera unit, right? Hey, hey! Yeah, so I didn't make any weird modifications or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Didn't you get this from that shady looking alley where all those machines were lined up? Right. Yeah, I just tweaked it a little bit. Then, if there are other surveillance camera units, 
Would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras too? Man. No, that's impossible. Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors only used as part of the same unit. The video that was filmed in a hospital camera can only be viewed on the hospital monitor. The video, okay, I got yeah. it. But if I left it like that, we wouldn't be able to um, communicate, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys were able to view the hospital so they from the music venue and vice versa. However, the surveillance camera unit manages its broadcast based on a specific number. So even if you bring the same model camera and monitor, you won't be able to interfere with the signal. Meaning, even if another surveillance camera exists, it'd be po impossible to broadcast with it. However, I didn't just swap the cameras. I modified them and increased the wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use it. You're right, you did work on that. There's a surveillance camera unit on top of the reception desk. As long as the... It'd be impossible to broadcast with this. Hajime. Hajime, there's something I want to ask you. You first discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue, right? But why did you go to the music venue? You had a reason for that, right? Did you see something with this camera? That's right! Oh, I also wanted to ask you that. It'd be different if the surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for household functions. Hey, hey. Tell me, Hajime. Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video in the surveillance camera unit. It showed the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging like there is now. But the whole display was pretty dark because they were just using candlelight. There was a rope hanging from the ceiling of a neath that was a step ladder on the floor. And right away, a person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head appeared. I didn't know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know it must have been Hibuki. She walked straight to the step ladder without any hesitation. She climbed that step ladder of her own free will, and then she grabbed that rope in. That's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have been snuffed out or something because the screen went dark all of a sudden and it wasn't displaying anything anymore. Man. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Modern surveillance cameras have infrared function, so things can still show up even in the dark. But the one I got from the machine alloy was a really old model. Ah, uh, hold on. Well? At the time, you said you didn't know the person wearing the handbag was evil key, right? Yeah. Hmm. You didn't know it was her, but you saw her trying to hang herself. So you rushed over to the music venue to try to stop her? But I didn't make it in time. Hey. Still, and she climbed the step ladder on her own. Does that mean she committed suicide? What did that mean she's her own killer? Evil key committed suicide. What do you think, Chiaki? Hmm. There's no doubt Evil Key climbed the step ladder on her own, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. If so. I'm thinking somebody told her to do it. Cause remember, she was like very, like, very um, uh, uh, ordered, orderly. Like if you told her to do something, she would just go on and do it without question. So I'm thinking somebody must have told her to hang herself. And like they, and they must have to be for the with the purpose of letting her die. Hey, don't think about it so, so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, yeah, she doesn't. There's no way we'll be able to figure that out so easily. Mm. Oh, yeah, I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. Mm. I'm heading over there now. <laughs> what the heck? She ran away all of a sudden. She said the conference room, but why would she mention the conference room all of a sudden? Might be overthinking it, but did she seem a little upset? Why are you here? Oh, I'm finally getting back to my normal self. All right. Hajime, help me out with my recovery. You can touch my, you can touch my booze if you win. No thanks. She was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. She'd beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you here? Hey, hey. Well, I've never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea. But <laughs> hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan to wear hospital gowns from now on. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. Looks like there was one gown for each patient's room. So I thought there'd be more in the empty rooms. There weren't any gowns? Yeah. Yep, that's right. Ibuki died wearing one, so this only the only one left is the one Nagito was wearing. <laughs> if I have no choice, then I should just use Nagito's. 
It's a unisex size, so I'll probably be able to fit in it. All right. All right, so what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, Ibuki, somebody, somebody stole a hospital gown and pretended to be Ibuki when they walked up there to hang themselves as a joke. Not as a joke, as a diversion. Hold on, what happened to the hospital gown you were wearing? Are you saying I should wear the one I already wore? That's gross. Wearing clothes someone else was wearing was grosser. Like, like no time for dilly-dallying. I totally left me kind back at the music venue. Oh, uh, crap, I gotta go back soon. So kids already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. It's an open room. There shouldn't be anyone inside. Okay, but it's Evil Key's room. We should check it out. What's this? It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Um, where's the switch? Hey. Don't turn it on. Huh? Ch Chiaki, are you there? Cause... If you turn on the light, it's going to be fully exposed. It'd be embarrassing. What's fully exposed? Hey, hey Hajime. If you, uh, if you poke out your eyes, you can turn on the light. What are you going to do? Are you going to poke them out? I'm not going to poke out my eyes. Aww. Bummer. Troll fail. No sooner did she finish saying that, I heard a dry sound of curtains being drawn. There was a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I squinted my eyes until they started adjusting to the light. And I saw Chiaki had finished opening the curtain that was just uncovering the... <laughs> That looks like the same curtain for the um the music venue. <laughs> or a similar one. I like saw Chiaki had finished opening the curtain that was covering the window. Hey, hey. Were you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. Well? I got it. Got what? See? The curtains in this conference room are designed to completely block out light. Mm. There's a projector in here, so they were probably careful about light shining through. See? See a black curtain that blocks light. And it's also long enough to reach the floor. It's perfect. A black light blocking curtain. That's why it was so dark. So is something wrong with it? Mm. I'm still in the middle of investigating, so it's a secret. Yeah, she's upset. But still, what was all what was all that about? A bit about being embarrassed and if I look and troll fail. Nope. I just wanted to mess with you. Yeah, she's definitely upset. Why is she acting so childish? Guess I'm done investigating the hospital. All right, we gotta go to the motel. Yeah, I got no clue. I'm stumped. I am truthfully, hopefully, and willfully stumped. I just remembered I never went inside any of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I don't even know what Hyoko's room is. Might be faster to just ask someone. So you have a You're here, right? Come on now. Are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room was which room was Hiyoko staying? Listen well. Open the door to the center room. <laughs> However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear. Or you might want a bigger picture of extra pair of underwear. I wonder. How does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? I'm ignoring you. For no real reason. The key was inside a kimono. Maybe if I use this. It opens just as I thought. This key was Hiyoko's room key. Alright, I should go inside. So Hiyoko was staying here. She only stayed here for a few nights, but it doesn't really feel like her room, but I feel a little conflicted. Oh my! Huh, did the door open? Yeah, Hiyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. Um, I see. What, did something happen? No, it's just... I'm starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault? What does she mean? First of all, how did she get in here? Um, the moment Hiyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was, she was afraid of despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, right? However, However her fear of the disease was not the only reason she locked herself in her room. She had another reason. 
Besides the disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in her room? Perhaps. Her kimono. Her kimono? Um. Yesterday, I went to go talk to her. Since she had been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but by coincidence, it was not locked at that time. And then I saw it. Um. Hiyoko was crying and struggling with her kimono stash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but then she could not tie her sash anymore. Mayuru was no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono? You are right. The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been serious issues for her. Um... Hiyoko told me she learned how to tie her sash from Mahiru. Then Mahiru kindly taught her the basics. That's why she was wanting to be able to tie her sash on her own. Perhaps. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahiru taught her. I... I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? Hyoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it! Because... Mahiru taught me. That's why I can do it on my own. Uh, um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. And that was when she kicked me out. It cannot be. Could it be Hiyoko remembered that? Are you trying to say she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? I can see that happening. Hiyoko locked her room and made sure she put put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, why did you tell Did you tell anyone about that before the incident? Or was someone listening on your conversation? Um. I never told this to anyone, and I do not believe anyone was listening in on our conversation. Nobody knew. If that's the case, how did the killer know Hiyoko was going to the music venue? Something's wrong. Who knows, could it be freaking Miss Sonia's number one stalker? The bed isn't messed up. It doesn't look like she was abducted in her sleep. There's a mirror, but it's so small and rusty. There's no way anyone can use this. I don't see anything else that looks suspicious. I do! No sign that someone made a mess of her room. I don't think she was forcefully abducted. Look, I couldn't really find an important clue. Oh, well. Nah, you found a pretty important clue, all right. Oh, I don't I don't think I talked to Fuyuhiko. Damn right. Hey Hajime, can you explain it to me again? What happened when you first discovered Yubuki's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Yubuki's body was hanging from the baton lightning, flighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's when I went to get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at the motel. At this motel. And when we were about to go back to the music venue, you met up with Mikan and me. And when we went back to the music venue, the entrance door was open and open for some reason. I see. So we had no choice but to break down the door and discover Hiyoko's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. Hey. This is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? As I recall. A body was found. A body? Gundam Tanaka? Besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Monami. I see. I see. So Kazuichi and Sonya didn't appear, huh? Do you think those two are suspicious? Like... Well, Hiyoko was killed. Between the time we saw Ibuki's body and when we broke down the door, right? So obviously those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us. That, that might be it, but... I... It's possible that... I was thinking this with Miss Sonya. But it's possible that the ultimate mechanic guy, cause he's basically a freaking stalker, 
He might have just been listening in and went for a shot while we're at it. Let me tell you my alibi too. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what was going on and she said Ibuki disappeared. So you guys split up and looked for Ibuki, huh? Well, yeah. While we were circling the island, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else while you circled the island? Well. No. We went to the movie theater. They had a street full of machines to look for Ibuki, but we didn't see anyone. Hmm. Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. The time that Mikana and I were on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. Hmm. In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Hiyoko and wrapped her around that pillar with duct tape. It's true. I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But the fact that Hiyoko was killed and we did discover her body. Huh? What? Do you still doubt me? Jeez. Well, I'm used to it. It's true I've done some things I deserve to be doubted for. Huh. So don't worry, even if you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. I'd want to know in advance what I'd have to do to end up like that. I think Fuyuhiko's innocent. A rundown, rusted, and riding car someone abandoned. Maybe it'll stop if I keep staring at it. Alright. Now on to the movie the theatrics. Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime. I knew you'd come here. That means you noticed it too, right? The case this time is an imitation case in which the killer used that movie as their theme. I wouldn't know I haven't watched that movie yet. I see. I see. Then you really should watch this movie first. Hey! Hey, manager, a customer's here. Did you call me? Well, what? Hajime's the customer? You have any problem with that? What are you gonna do? And you said you didn't want to watch it, but I knew you wanted to see it all along. I low-key did want to see it, though. I did want to see it. If that's what Sundere Hajime looks like, then you're really a tough guy. <laughs> you were so devoted to being a Sundere, you even bought the Monokuma sticker for $1.5 million. Huh? You paid $1.5 million for a sticker? It's nothing. Listen up! In exchange for not watching the movie, Hajime paid $1.5 million for a Monokuma sticker. Come on, since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nagito? Stop! But my resistance was in vain as Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. See, it's this one. I'm sorry I was born stupid. That's... You bought this for 1.5 million dollars? <laughs> but in the end, you're still gonna watch the movie. Who cares about that anymore? Give me my ticket. Here. Here you go. It already says on the invitation ticket, but it's only effective today at this time. By the way, I can only give you one ticket per person. You only have a chance to watch it for free. Oh, you said today's date on it, you won't be able to cheat. Don't worry, I only plan to watch it once. Look forward to it, okay? Then I'll go prepare this projection reel. Please wait a bit, okay? Hey. Ah, uh, Hajime, about that invitation ticket, I strongly recommend you keep that safe. Why? No reason. Just think of it as a protective charm. I guess I should just wait until Monokuma finishes his preparations. No, no, no! Stay out of middle preparing, don't Are rush! You sure? Hated by bat boy bears. You can hit me all you want. Impossible! Hajime, I can't believe you bought that thing. And you paid 1.5 million dollars for it too? But even you said you would have, you, you, you should have just settled it with money to get out of seeing that movie. <sighs> You're right, but that means I would have had to buy that thing, you know? Just leave me alone. I do. It's just like me to make Hajime so prickly. I might be hiding a past where I was once known as a prima donna in the mascot world. You definitely weren't caught that. Hey, hey. It's about time I showed you, it's about time I showed you a dare side, you know? Come on, liven yourself no. up a bit. Bro, what am I? Reminds me that item should be on top of the corner. You have the hemp bag. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth with a decal of Anami's face on it. That catch your eye is an all purpose tote bag useful for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited time only, only one person can have it. 
that tote bag is gone, that means. What's this? Whoa there, what you interested in buying that tote bag? Too bad. Well, that's too bad. It's already sold out. Who'd you sell it to? You're so stupid. stupid. There's no way I'd fall for that. There's no way I'd say something that'd reveal who the killer is. <laughs> so the killer bought it. Shocking. I remember you said there was only one because it was a limited item, right? Hmm. Well, it's not limited to one. It's more like it's limited to one person. What's the difference? Hey, um... When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. For some reason, hearing you say that pisses me off. Well, now. Now then, I should forget that I carelessly made a slip of the tongue. Now then. Looks like the preparations are complete. So please enter the theater right away. I can't wait! I can't wait! This movie's about to be fire. I just, I just know it is. I just know this movie's about to make me get. This movie's about to get me wet in all the right places. Um. I apologize for keeping you waiting. World famous director Monokuma presents a stunning masterpiece that reduces American audiences to tears. The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D will be screening shortly. From the title alone, I have a bad feeling about this 2.5D that sounds so half baked. Now, well, Ben, please relax and enjoy the film! Okay. Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. Oh, what One the heck? Day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. All right. And was whisked away to Monami's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. So he began his journey to see the wizard, Monami, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Monokuma met a Monami scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide, the Monami Scarecrow hanged herself and died. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. It might... Yeah. He also met a Monami Lion who was missing her courage. So, he pumped her full of arrows. Monokuma, why? He also met a Monami Tin Man who was missing a heart. So, Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating <laughs> the crap out of Monami. That's so real. And in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. As he should. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. And he lived happily ever after. The end. That might actually be peak. That might actually be peak. That might just be peak. <laughs> Man, movies are the best. That drama was so moving. I needed two boxes of tissues, one for each head. So now then, let's let's meet again at the class trial. Bye. -bye. I'm too disgusted to even let out a sigh right now. That's all I can say to describe this situation. That was so peak. How was it? Actually, I don't have to ask. I totally expected your reaction. That was honestly the worst movie I've ever seen. Is it even okay to call that a movie? But thanks to that movie, now you know, right? Yeah. Just like he said, the characters who were killed in a movie matched the victims in his case. 
Evil King's death by hanging matches Scarecrow's death in a movie. Not just that, Hyoko's suspended body matched the lion's death too. What? It would have been a complete imitation if the killer killed three people, but it seems that wasn't possible. Perhaps the killer is upset about that right now, or... If the killer's main goal was just an imitation of murder, they should be upset about it, but... I'm not sure if that's even true. Alright, so this is what I'm thinking. We know Ibuki was very weak-willed. Well, not really weak-willed, but like she was really following instructions. So it is po like literally, if you if you told her to do something, she would just go on and do it. Like no question about it. That's like that's how that's because she was sick like that, right? So I'm thinking maybe whoever the killer is probably told her to just go to to hang herself. And because she was in that state of mind from the disease, she just went on and hung herself because she wasn't really saying no to nobody for real, right? That went on and happened. But my thing is this. We know we already know how they got to Hiyoko. Sonia told Hiyoko about the mirror in the room, and that, so she went in there to tie her kimono stash. But how... I mean, but we don't know who it was that caught her lacking, though. That's what we don't know. And we also don't really know where she was killed at. There's a lot of unknowns in this case, bro. Th this is really reminding me of, um, what case is this reminding me of? It's making me think of the second case. No, not the second case. There was a case in Trigger Happy Happy where I just had no clue, bro. Because there was just so much stuff we did not know. everybody doing it's me monokuma Yay! awesome also i'm expecting this class trial to be peak because chapter three that was my favorite chapter in trigger happy havoc so this better be peak bro like hey let's see if this chapter three is gonna hold up the class trial is gonna start you know so make sure you guys come to monokuma rock asap <laughs> i'll see you soon it's already time so this again i need to go to that place again but now's not the time to be a coward the recent evil king hyoko became victims in order to find the truth the only thing i can do is go That's the end of the episode, guys. Peace out. Love y'all. Um, tap into the next episode if y'all enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Next time we finna do this class trial, we're gonna find out who killed Evil King Hiyoko. Two characters that I really like. And then we're gonna watch them get executed because, oh man, I'm gonna love seeing that. Because you, you ain't gonna kill two characters that I like and not get executed. We exposing you. I'm gonna hit you with that. No, you're wrong. I'm gonna hit you with that. I got it. I'm gonna hit you with that. Allow me to cut through those words. I'm going to hit you with all of it, bro. And then you're going to get that execution, this execution, punishment time for Monokuma. That's how it's going to be. You feel me? So, peace out. Love y'all. Tap in. Like and subscribe. For real.